Hey everybody, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of... Not brand new. Well, we've been doing this for a while. Skyrim. What am I talking about? I'm already off to a good start. Anyways, we're going to talk to Delvin Mowry because, well, we have to sell him a, uh, a thing. I don't know if... Why was that not taken? Can we now take all of these random notes that are all over the place? I guess so. We're the Grandmaster of this now. Not that there are too many. What can I do for you? Actually... Which one of you is a fence? I forget. Walking away without Tanilla? Job, like a coin purse on a table. Listen, Vex. Piss off. If you're looking for a yeah, you. I've got coin and I've yes. Got okay, we need to sell a couple things real quick. This will make me a quick load of money. I don't know if I can even sell everything to her. Oh, yes, we can. Fantastic. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right, Delvin. Anything for the guild. We gotta talk about something. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, ain't ya? Kinda. So, uh, how's Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Uh-huh. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? Why do you, why do you know them? Let's see. But, yeah, tell me what they where, emulate. Where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. <laughs> Apparently not. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Specially crafted for each member. who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, wow. It ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Yeah, are you going to buy it or not? Hey, this. An Elder Council amulet. Oh yes, oh yes, indeed. Oh wait, just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. Delvin, you're playing two lines of this very, very deadly. Always a pleasure, boss. Curve. And we can't ask him about it. It's a little weird, right? Oh. Nope, I wanted to go into items. That's right. So we can actually take a look at the thing he gives us. A uh, letter of credit. 15,000 septums. Yeah. Definitely more expensive than anything we've ever brought in. That's for sure. But... We don't really have to worry too much about that sort of stuff. All right, let's go up to Riften again. And now we can head back to Astrid and see what everything is going to be worth. Or we know how much it's worth, but see what we're doing next, rather. Seems like that guy's legit, though. The one who wants us to kill the Emperor. That was weird. It's not like a dragon like, landing at the exact moment I opened the door because everything like sort of shifted. That was weird. We're in indeed. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Uh, the, a lot. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Yeah, yeah, he was. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. I feel like you're setting me up for something. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. I don't. <laughs> well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. What? Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Okay. Um, who do I kill? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The yeah, I think I've seen her. Held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Gotcha. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. 
Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go. Okay. And give my best to the bride. So we get a bonus if we kill her while she's addressing the guests. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the to solitude. Oh, yeah. To visit Skyrim. Okay. Now, before we go, we can talk to a couple of people and uh, get a little bit of information on how we should do this. So, slaughtering the Emperor's cousin at her wedding? Those guards will be out for blood. Wouldn't surprise me if the crowd jumped in, too. Good to know. Means everybody and their mother's gonna try and kill us. Go on now. Uh, there's two people specifically that we want to talk to, however. My Babette here. It's no fair. I love weddings. Astrid should have given this contract to me. Instead, she's got me visiting cities and assessing security. How boring. But listen, I think I can help you. The wedding reception is outside the Temple of the Divines, right? In solitude? If so, the bride will probably address the crowd from the balcony. It overlooks the courtyard. Good well, to know. There's an old statue there. I've seen it. Hanging bread over where she'll be standing. Old means weak. Weak means it could fall. Hmm? Gotcha. So we can drop that, that on her. Contract. That's what I want to try and do. I want to try and drop it on her because, like, Hello? it's the unique thing that you can do to actually kill her. And we always want to do the unique thing. Oh, killing her will be easy. She'll be so happy she'll never see it coming. I should know. I killed a bride once. <laughs> it was our honeymoon. What? Tepid, I said. The bathwater should be tepid. Lukewarm is not tepid. Close, maybe. But there is a difference. Stupid cow. You're a dick. <laughs> no. I don't I care about you. I'd like to say I was born with a Brother, wand in my I hope you don't mind well, that I took the liberty of surveying the site of the reception. Oh, thank you. There's a small parapet just opposite the balcony that would prove an excellent spot for a long-range kill. Mm, good to know, good to know. I left something there for you, if you're inclined to take that approach. Oh, interesting. Well, I definitely want to take a look at that. You. Thank you, Gabriella. I said greetings, your contract sounds simple, which means it certainly will not be. Getting into that reception will be easy, but have you thought about getting out? No, no, I have not. That is definitely a problem. Next time, In fact, I've done this multiple times. It is very easy to kill Vittoria Vici. It's actually really hard to get out of there without the entirety of Solitude hating you, that is. I mean, you can get out if you want to, like, stab your way through. Anyways, I've got some plans for this. Some ideas. All right. Well, let's go to a wedding, I guess. Why not, right? Gotta kill the cousin of the emperor. It's a real weird thing to say. Off to solitude we go. That bodes well for a wedding. <laughs> yeah, definitely bodes well. Anyway, we've uh, never really gone up here before. But, uh... Oh, there's all the guards in the courtyard. And in this little courtyard over here is the wedding. I do believe we have to enter in through one particular side. Yes, over here. I'm just here to provide protection for his you know nothing about us. Please, nothing. No, hi, Vittoria Vici. Well, you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. Just gonna stay silent. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day. Please eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Yeah, okay. If that's what you think. Anyways, everybody's over here. We want to head inside of the Temple of the Divines. So we want to get up there. See, up there is the balcony where Gabrielle has left us something. And. Oh, no, sorry. That's the loose thing. That's where Gabrielle has left us something, so we need to get up there. This goes by very quickly, um, so we got to be somewhat quick about this. Now, the main thing is to remember how to get out there, because honestly, I forget. And we're not 
going to be uh, using Mage Light because we can't afford to get ourselves seen and risk everything. So we're going to equip this torch real quick. Oh, there's people in here. Okay. Where is the balcony out? Am I thinking of the right area? Mm, no way up and out here. Certainly, acolyte. Here's something to solitude. Where does this let me uh, let us out? So this lets us out on top of everything. I do believe if we hug this wall. Yeah, we're detected, but it's fine. We can get ourselves over here. Elven arrow and Finril's end is over here. Unique uh, bow that is only available there. So yeah, that's one thing we need to do. No one really cares if you sneak around, by the way, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I just thought it was strange. Maybe it's because we're Thane, but I don't know. Let us walk. All right, I'm gonna head out here again. Good friends and neighbors. Oh, she's addressing the crowd. Please eat, drink, and make merry on this most happy of days. In this courtyard, there are no storm clouds. Just gonna push this over on you. Kills Vittoria. And everybody uh, gets real upset about this. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're going to pop. Oh, uh, we actually can do a brief invisibility. Where's, where's a small invisibility potion for me? I know I have some. Here we go. Potion of brief invisibility. I'm gonna use it on us. Why? Wait, what? Where is she? Oh, there he is. We're gonna look at Vittoria Vici. She has some interesting things on her. Mainly her wedding band, which is a unique thing. And then the wedding dress, wedding sandals, and wedding wreath are all unique to her. And we can also take the other two silver things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they all start fighting. It's pretty weird. In any case, nobody suspects us because nobody saw us. So we can just sort of actually just teleport back. Yeah, that was my plan. <laughs> the entirety of it. And because we were invisible when we grabbed the stuff off her body, like, I don't know. I think that lends uh, a little bit of interesting... Uh, rea realism to everything, right? We're invisible, and then we went and grabbed all the stuff off of her. Mostly, we just wanted the web wedding band, though. Which is the main unique thing on her. Okay. So, all done there. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Yeah, it was actually pretty easy. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Let's see his... With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. Yeah, my pleasure. It was pretty and fun. Now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. What? His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, in your zeal, you failed to eliminate what? Vici while she addressed her guests as- Bullshit! I totally did! What the fuck are you talking about, game? No, 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 hold on. What? What are you talking about, game? We're gonna load this real quick. All right, I got I got the thing right. I got Fenrir's end. Yes. These days, it seems there is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. But I beg you, here, today, put such fears aside. Enjoy yourselves. I thank you all again for making this the best wedding a woman could ask for. 
Oh. Victoria, no. Did that work? Like, I'm trying to figure out if if that works. Oops. There we go. Am I waiting too long? Am I not doing it quick enough? Like, what do you mean when there are enemies nearby? The bride has been murdered. Somebody help! Oh, did we get noticed? What? Ugh. This is such a glitchy part. Like, to be totally honest, it's it's a lot easier to do this when uh It's definitely a lot easier to do this Good friends and neighbors. when My husband, and you're just shooting her. To our reception. We thank you for sharing the love with her. All right. We did that. Invisibility. Okay, now we're going to transport back. Why are there enemies the nearby? Ow, what the- what? What the fuck is happening? Why are they noticing me? What is happening? I need to look something up. Something's definitely glitched. Because... No one sees me murder her. They just become angry. I have no idea what's going on, but... Apparently some people are saying that fast traveling right after forfeits your bonus. So we'll just do this... The normal way. Victoria, no! So people will become hostile even if you aren't seen. Apparently. Alright, real quick, let me check something. Oh wait, I can't check my The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Oh no. Yeah, people just become hostile regardless. But let's leave before anybody dies. And then we should be able to go back. This is very, very strange. I don't know why it would be forfeiting to use fast travel to get out of there. Especially if you kill her during the speech. What? Okay, apparently people are still after us. That's annoying. What the hell? I don't think I have a... Uh a bounty? But I could totally see the game just like breaking at the Oh good, well Nura's gonna die, probably because of Lydia. Maybe I can force Lydia to come to me if I This is the problem. Like if you want to keep people alive, this quest sucks. Lydia with me? Nope, and I'm still apparently being tracked. My dear God, how far away do I need to get from them? This is really annoying, actually. You know, I remember having to do something similar to this once upon a time. And it was because fast traveling actually breaks the bonus, even if you are totally undetected while doing all this. I do remember this now. Oh good, there's all the people, apparently, still following me. There's a bear. 
You're kidding me. You're kidding me. There's a dragon after me, too. That's what that music says, is suggesting. That there's a fucking dragon. I just want to fast travel game. Seriously. This is uh, so annoying. Just keep heading south, I guess. I mean, like, honestly, I'll probably just reach their Dark Brotherhood area normally at this rate. Wow, I'm seeing these red dots from real far away now. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like the Dark Brotherhood quests are purposefully bugged. So that, like, you have to face some sort of consequence or don't, like, make it harder on you. But this is just annoying. Because the difficulty should be in not getting seen. Not how this works. Oh my god, there's still someone after me. Or something. I'm gonna have to go to, back to Solitude after all of this. What keeps popping up as an enemy? Are they fast? Are they, like, tethering to me? I could 100% see something tethering to me. That would make me even angrier. Oh, I can wait. So that means I can fast travel. And hopefully I got the bonus this time because I killed her by crushing her during her speech. Come on. Give me my bonus. Unless you have to use no fast travel whatsoever and walk all the way there. In which case, we'll do it again, I guess. Like, it's annoying as shit. <laughs> With Vici yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're You're my reward? And of course, Thank gold you. Gold for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Thank you. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Okay. And we get bound until death. So. Let's uh, try out this unique little spell. Arniel's Shade. This is an interesting little spell. Yeah. Lucian Lachance. Unfortunately, he just attacks people, so he's not all that interesting. But, uh, definitely different. If anybody so, remembers him. There are indeed oh, shit, he has contracts. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandrew Joe, a traveling caravan. And Honoria, a hunter. Oh, right, he talks stuff. About stuff. As you like, pull him through. Ah, oh, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. I'm sure people won't be forgetting that wedding anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Yes, yes, she did. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Oh, okay. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. Okay. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Okay. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Okay. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating the letter on his body and but let fate take care of the rest. Listen. Oh, and one final there thing. 
Yeah. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. Can do. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Okay. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Okay. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. So gotta kill him in a city. Good to know. No schedule? No. So your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. Uh-huh. We know there's an actual written travel schedule somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would obviously be most beneficial. Okay. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow. Oh, yeah. Lucian Lachance, like, stands by and says things. I believe he said something about this place being evil and something like that. Because uh, he knows about this area. So, we got a lot to do. Got contracts. Got the new quest. A lot of stuff we got to think about. All right. So, let's do our contracts first. Uh, food stall in Whiterun or hunting in the plains outside the city. Okay, easy enough. Oh my god. This is one of the traveling caravan. That's annoying. Oh yeah, Dekas at the shipwreck. We've, uh, seen that person. And this travel schedule is over in Dragon Bridge. Okay. Well, let's see what happened in Solitude real quick. I'm very curious. And at the very worst, the guards will be angry. At the very least, nothing will happen. Fantastic. What I do want to check real quick is make sure that no one's dead right outside the city. A murder over in Riften. Some old lady who oh, there's always a murder in Riften. I'm not doing this right now. I'm not doing this right now. Looks like the Emperor's cousin killed right here in No one's dead. Uh what the what? The Lucian Lachance ran all the way here? We're not doing this. We're technically not in combat. So No. I hate you so much. Just go away. Actually, wait. In my time, the blades protected the Emperor. Change is swept into solitude. If I just Attacks! hide in the city, I can fast travel without the dragon. I really don't. The game's like trying to force me into fighting a dragon, and I just don't want it. Let's kill this hunter first. Should be fairly easy. Oh, I didn't even notice the time. Okay. And I think... Okay, we, we still got plenty of time in this episode. So the hunter should be somewhere out here. And he usually hunts alone, so we can just sort of murder him. Like normal. Lucian Lachance isn't still with me, right? Oh my god, he is! How long does he last? That's kind of awesome and impressive. I almost died on a bone. If I had hit that the wrong way, it would have murdered me. Where are you? Oh, he's in the city right now. Hold on. Let's see where he ends up later in the day. Jesus. Still in the city, huh? That's a real problem. We'll wait a little bit longer. Thankfully, there's no quest to do for him. All right, where are you at 7? Uh-huh. You are out and about at 7 p.m., right? You're not in the city? Oh. Oh, that's someone else entirely. Wow, you are close. 
Okay, we I don't often get the opportunity to uh, run into these guys that easily, so it's going to be nice. How long does Lucian LaChance last? My dear lord. Just Imperial Lucian's soldiers randomly. So, are you all traveling currently, or did you make camp somewhere? You are traveling. Okay, which one of you is the actual target? You. In my time, the blades protected the Emperor. It would seem these penitus oculatus will prove equally... I don't think I can kill you in one hit, can I? <laughs> Oh! Why? Lucian Lachance, please. God damn it. This is not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted at all. I just killed the one person. Why did everyone else become hostile? Alright, we're outside of their range, so that's fine. Let's go kill Deacus real quick. Everybody should fast travel with me so none of the rest of the caravan die. Thankfully, we know where this dude is. Otherwise, we would have actually had to go down there and, like, save him. Which is weird, right? But, uh, no, he's just sort of here. Oh, and he's even laying down to sleep. I'm just gonna murder him real quick. Doesn't really have much of anything to care about. He's got some loot, I guess. We saved him. And then, uh, we let him rot. It does make me wonder, like, if you find him at Darkwater Crossing, then you kind of save him so that he just dies later. Weird, right? Anyway. Let's go to Whiterun, kill our last contract. And then, I think I want to go back to Nazir first. Just turn everything in. Also, we are killing people in one hit, and that is very, very surprising. Especially with the bow. But, you know what? I'll take it. Is Lucian LaChance still with me? No. Okay, good. I honestly think he is the reason why things were going strange. John, huh? Best you forget whatever you think you saw, Ed. Such idle talk can prove hazardous to one's health. Ooh. Oh, we had like a good Yeah. Tired of bread and stew. Had enough of fish and fowl. Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or tender rack of ribs. There we go. Hidden. Can't shoot from here. Goes right into the thing. Hmm. What about on top of the building? Nope. Can't do that. I could do like a real long shot from like back here. Who sees me? Ooh, got it. Or not. Okay, apparently they saw me even though I was hidden. Like what? Also, this screen is just broken. Weirdly, it keeps resetting. Uh, that that one does confuse me. I guess we'll just wait until he goes out to hunt or something. 
I mean, I get it. He dies right next to people, and the people are going to notice that he's dead, but there's no way that they should know it's me, unless it's just because of Lydia. The cousin of the emperor was murdered. You know what? Lydia? Go home. So follower isn't with me anymore. What do you do? I think it's the followers, because, like, you kill one person, and then the follower starts, like, attacking everyone. It's kind of weird. I gotta wait for Lydia to get back inside the house. Maybe I'll just leave her out for the rest of the Dark Brotherhood. Go inside the house, please. I hate you. Thank you. Yeah, real quick. Test that theory. So if I just... If I murderize you... Now... That's exactly what it is. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, good to know. Uh, your companions will break certain things. You still there? Well, we can certainly steal his travel schedule. Oh, maybe he doesn't leave until you go there. I definitely want to get his travel schedule, so we're going to head over there and uh, take that while we still can. Oh, oh. hi, Lucian Lachance. Again, strangely. <laughs> Let's turn these in real quick. Maybe he'll have even more contracts for me. Probably Maybe not. Something. Ah, so the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted. Not really. I kind of shot him in the middle of the night. Payment, my friend. Well done. Ah, well done. Well done. Uh huh. In my time, Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's at the fun, isn't it? I mean, not really. I got real lucky that it was right next to Whiterun. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. Unless you hit them with a hammer while they're sleeping. Nice <laughs> All right. Uh, ever come a time any more contracts? One right Ooh. Now, actually. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant Stalking in Fort Greymore. You know what? Destroy. Let's go do this. I want to. Oh my dear lord! Truly, a contract worthy of the listener. Do you just last forever? Until he's defeated? What? 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 I. Wow. Ah. Uh, it's a problem. It really is a problem. Okay. Hey, Lucian Lachance. You're gonna fuck things up for me real bad, aren't you? <sighs> Fort Greymore. Oh, we actually have not done this place yet, so that's good. Clear out a place that's completely new to us. And because this is a uh, bandit area, we don't have to worry about uh, making anyone upset. Because we can just sort of murder. Lucian Lachance is like the biggest edge lord yet. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you're all gonna die, everyone. Just... Oh! Or I'll fall off the building. Yeah, Lucian's having a fun time. If, you know, if anything, this will give me a good chance to get rid of him by going through this place not stealthily. Ooh, you didn't die immediately. Now you're dead. Wow, Lucian actually killed someone. <laughs> cool. That looked pretty cool. You know what? I would definitely summon Lucian more and more now that I'm uh, seeing him fight. The blades protected the Emperor. He's actually not horrible. Definitely gonna use him for a couple of key fights. Ooh, I wonder how good he would be against uh, some of the optional bosses that exist in this game. Definitely might have to use him for that, if anybody knows what I'm thinking of. Alright, so this woman, Agnes, is over here. Hello. Goodbye, Agnes. Again, she's just a bandit. So it's not really any problem. Yeah, I don't think it's my time to die. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, is this place just not worth it? Planting false evidence. Destroying an innocent man's reputation. Truly, a contract worthy. That's going to do something. Oh, dodged it. What are you doing with magic? Ooh, we can take your blood. That's a dark elf. Who do we even have left for that quest? Discern and transmitting high elf. Ooh, perfect. And I know exactly what where we're going to get that from. Well, not exactly, but I have a fairly good idea. All right, game. What's with giving the little enemies shield bashes? Really good shield bashes, too. There we go. Are you a high elf? No. You're a human. Or a Nord. Take your jewelry, though. All right, nothing here. Really? That was it? This is the boss chest? That was... Real easy to get to. Wow. Are we sure we've... N I've never cleared this before? Because that's... Impressive. Alright, is it listed as cleared now? Nope, there's still something I missed down there. Eh, I'm not worrying too much about it. Oh, it's that person. Excuse me. Now ain't this a surprise. Damn you. I'm just gonna crack his neck and break that. Okay, good. Now is this place listed as cleared? Nope. Okay, whatever. Not a problem for me. Don't want your flute. Okay, so all that's done. Let's turn that back in. I keep worrying, like, that I'm going to miss a contract. And it, you definitely want to do all the contracts. Wait. Where's the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, even more south. He deals them out in, like, portions. And we're getting fairly close to the end of all of his contracts. But I'm guessing that we're not going to unlock anymore until we do the next main quest. So we may have to go, uh... Initiate the one in Dra Dragon Bridge. You know? I never thought about this, but maybe that Dragon Bridge wine quest you can't get until after this. Oh, that's a weird possibility. Don't worry, my friend. 
I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. She had a dagger. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. I mean, they were pretty easy. Anything else? Well, yes. Oh, wow. But you're reaching the end of what I have available. Well, fantastic. We'll finish them out. Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazinchaleft, and Helvard, the house carl of Falkreath. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. Have we already killed one of them? Some details now. He's dangerous. Just not by you. Well, I guess maybe he doesn't even spawn. Destroying an innocent man's reputation. All right, let's do these. I'd rather get them out of the way. He does have an end to how many contracts he has. Um, once you're done with them, like Nazir just doesn't give you any more contracts. And the last one's actually a fairly interesting contract too, so kind of want to get to the end of it. Okay, so let's see. Where am I going? Really? I mean, I've clearly gone through this place entirely before. Weird that, uh, I never saw him. I wonder what's the easiest way to get to them. Like going through the main entrance? Yeah, I guess so. Picked a bad time to get lost. You picked a bad time to be on my nerves. <laughs> you picked a oh. All right, we'll just uh, kill him. Oh, wow. So one hit from Lucian Lachance uh, from me brings him down, huh? Good to know. So Lucian, uh, it, I believe, will die in a second. He gets hit again. Wow. He actually got up. That is impressive. Like, really actually impressive. I, I, don't, I don't have words. No. We're not doing this game. We talked about this. I'm not, I'm not fighting a dragon in this episode. I refuse. Alright, so what's the easiest way to get to them? I guess maybe right through the front. We've already cleared this place, so I don't really need to worry about uh, doing it again. And I don't really want to do it again, to be perfectly honest. So how far in are you? Uh, you don't look ridiculously far in. Is someone there? Oh, yep. Someone is here. Wait, are you a high elf? Oh, no, you look like a wood elf, actually. Let's see. Yeah, wood elf. Darn. I got excited for a second there. I was like, ooh. But high elves are typically, uh... They're typically mages. Wood elves are usually archers. Now do I get to kill you? There we go. Goodbye. What are you talking about over there, Lucian? Just muttering randomly? Okay. You do you, man. You do you. Wow. Totally missed. And you're dead. Oh. We have his room key? Oh, that's right. We have been through here. We just never... By the gods. We just never got to him. Cool. Well, that was easy. Oh, and there's his journal. So you can read this if you want. 
It's about as trips everywhere through here. In your prey, planting false evidence, destroying an innocent man's reputation. Truly a contract worthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've said this multiple times. I like I like to think that like his ghost, you know, over the ages has just sort of been reduced to the basis thing. I feel like Lucian was less uh less like mad, you know? He was always cold and calculating. I guess death can change a person, but I don't know. Something feels weird about him. I don't enjoy him nearly as much as the original. All right, let's go kill the steward. In Falkreath. Thankfully, we're already Thane there, so we don't actually need to do anything f for this guy. And I believe if we're close enough, Nazir will give us the quest for the final contract. Or maybe we just won't. Oh. Oh. I can already tell that there is going to be a problem. Uh, so Lucian is going to start killing people on his own, isn't he? I think everyone's going to sleep slowly. Stalking your prey. I'm gonna quick save real quick. False evidence. Destroying an innocent man's reputation. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So because of Lucian, I can't do this. Can I just kill Lucian? <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. But it worked. That that does beg the question. Can I summon him again? Like later? Yeah, I'm guessing there's just a cooldown on it or something. Alright. Make another quick save. Take his stuff. And leave. Admittedly, I probably could have just waited until he went to sleep or something like that. Or until everybody was asleep, but this is the easier way. That was weird. Who are you? Nenya. Nenya business. Alright. Let's turn this in. And we'll see if we get the last one. If we do get the last contract, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And we'll get all of them out of the way. And we don't have to worry about going to Nazir for any other things. And we can just go through the main uh, Dark Brotherhood quest from here on out. Though I have a feeling that he is not going to give us the last contract. Because it's probably something we have to wait for. Still here. Hmm. <laughs> Well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well-oiled political machine. Yeah, probably. Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. No, he was actually going to bed. But I digress. So that was pretty easy. Here's your payment. All right, any? Oh, you can do the last yes. one. Sweet. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship Red Wave. Okay. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. All right. Let's learn about her. Ah, yes. The pirate captain. A ruthless she-devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade, and let's not forget her crew. Loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. This is my final contract. 
and certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. Nah, it'll be easy. Go like on. all the other ones. And yep, this is the very last one. You have to kill this pirate and queen, I guess you would call her. Um, but we can do this no problem because, you know, we're a murdering machine at this point. Now we just have to find where she is because, yeah, sometimes, sometimes she doesn't like spawning. Uh, oh, is she actually not here yet? Oh, she is here. Hopefully she doesn't disappear. I believe she does move around just like the caravans. I could be wrong though. Maybe she's just always going to be here. Oh. Look at that. Her ship's just here. We're not doing this. I refuse. Into the red wave we go. So I believe we actually did a quest for the folks here earlier. Or something related to this boat. Don't remember exactly what we did. But we did something. Huh. She's all alone. Let me guess. You have some business to discuss. Yeah, how'd you know? The Dark Brotherhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think this is the first contract I've had on my life? What? I'm a pirate, sweetie. Assassination attempts are an occupational hazard. Now, shall we? Yeah, okay. Yeah, she seemed to know. Which is kind of interesting, I think. Unfortunately for her, we're very powerful. Oh. There we go. She's dead. Every contract complete. It does make me wonder, is there like anything worth anything here on the rest of this place? I mean, I'm not going to pick a fight with anyone else because there's really no reason to. So I guess off we go. Nordmead. I can't find any of that honey, uh, hunting brew mead anymore. I'm sure there's a few places where it spawns all the time. <sighs> You're not gonna let me leave now, are you? Are you serious? You're a dick. Like, really? Where do you even land? You're just gonna land in front of Solitude, aren't you? Go kill a dragon, I guess. Only in this game can that get boring after a while. You know? Like, that is not something that should lose my attention after a while. Alright, dragon. Come on. Did you actually kill anybody? We good? We safe? You are attacking the hell out of that one guard. He's being very brave fighting you, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why he's doing that, considering he's probably gonna lose. Oh, hello, Elder Dragon. Ugh. I missed. I wanna land. Nope, you're not going to land, are you? Whoa! He hurts! Alright, we'll resist some cold. Heal ourselves. Is that my horse? Is that Frost? No, it's just a horse. Come on. Come on. 
Wow. These arrows do like nothing. I wanna land somewhere, man. No. Just land. I'm starting to regret doing the main quest for last because there is a, a shout that you get eventually that'll force dragons to land. Can you not land here? Ooh, that may be a distinct possibility. The dragon may not have a place that it can actually land around here. God damn it. Somehow I knew it was going to land up there. And you're going to take off before I get to you, right? Is your dick. Come on. Stay down on the ground for just another second. Bam. Maybe dead now. No, oh, don't worry where it came from. I'll take care of that. All right, well, dragon dead. Uh, next time, we're going to turn in that quest, and we're going to continue on with the rest of the Dark Brotherhood, and maybe even assassinate the Emperor in the next episode. You never know. That could be pretty cool if we get that far. It is a distinct possibility. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye